Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the, I guess, re-released um, Cinderella and Prince Charming uh, wedding doll set from the Disney store. I found these at a Disney outlet store near me. It's about an hour away. Um, yeah, these are apparently back. Um, I did buy this <laughs> almost a month ago now. Um, I'm just now finally getting to review it. I've gotten a little lazy with this new year, I'm not gonna lie, but here they are. And like I said, they are re-released. These technically came out in 2019 along with Cinder, Ooh, pff, my god, not Cinderella, cause she's right here. Um, obviously this set, an Ariel and Eric set, Flynn Rider and Rapunzel, I <laughs> said Tiana, and Tiana and Naveen. So yes, these are coming back apparently. So if you missed your chance getting them then, definitely run to your local Disney store or run to shop Disney and buy them right now. Um, and again, today I have Cinderella and Prince Charming. This was just the set that called to me. I'm a big Ariel stan. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't feel the need to have the sex. I already have a wedding dress for Ariel that I already love more. But yeah, I was just really drawn to this set and I've never owned a Prince Charming. So yeah. So in the front of the box, we just have the name of the set down here with the Disney princess logo and some warnings. It talks about how she comes with a uh, flower bouquet um, here they are holding hands, and then we have some mice in the background. We have the prince right here. Sorry for the glare. I keep changing my filming setup every time. I never know what to do, but yeah, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, here is the prince, and then here is Cinderella. It's kind of hard to get her. You know, we're just gonna wait until we get her the box, but yeah, she's right here. Stunning, stunning. On the top, it's just clear, nothing to really see up there. The Disney Store logo. We have some pictures of Cinderella and Prince Charming and then some more Cinderella down here, a Disney logo. And then on the back, here is Cinderella and Prince Charming. I'm pretty sure this is straight from the third film. It looks just like it was from the third film. Again, Cinderella and Prince Charming wedding doll set, Disney princess. And then again, the set was, actually I don't know if I even said it already, but this set was $39.99, um, which I'm pretty sure when they came out originally in 2019, they were $29.99. So, Thanks, inflation. <laughs> um, and then we just have some more writing back here. Nothing too important. And then on this side, it's just more Cinderella and Cinderella and Fairy Godmother. And then her signature down here. So yeah, that's pretty much the box. So let me go ahead and get these beautiful dolls out of the box. And we'll take a closer look. All right, Cinderella and Prince Charming are out of the box now. I hope you all enjoyed that little time-lapse unboxing. I haven't done that in years, but um, I hope that was eventful for y'all. <laughs> um, So they are both on doll stands. These are my personal doll stands. I got them from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. They were like $2. Yeah, pretty convenient if you don't have any. Um, that Or if you don't have a Hobby Lobby in your area, you can always order them on Amazon. Um, but yeah, so... We are gonna actually start with the prince first because I feel like Cinderella's more eventful. So we're gonna eat the scroll over to the side and we're gonna pull Prince, I don't even know what his actual name is, but Prince Charming up here to the front and we're gonna take a closer look at him first. So he has the um, designer fairy tale head mold that they started a long time ago. I forgot what year it was, but this is pretty much that same face. Um, it looks good. I think it looks really good. I actually like that they give the male dolls molded hair. I feel like it just looks better. Um, it just looks more stylized. I don't know how to even describe it. I just, I like it better. He has brown eyes, like a nude lip. Very nice, very nice. Um, at the top of his outfit, he has these little, um, they're called epaulets. I don't know if I just said that word right. I probably butchered it. Oh my God, his hair actually looks really good. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. This is my first time actually looking at him from the back too. And his hair is actually really nice. Okay, the molding detail is actually really good in the hair. And the side profile, actually the side profile is really good. Okay, slay, slay king. Um, but yeah, so these are the epaulets. Um, they are a gold color. Um, I'm pretty sure Naveen has the same ones. And then he has a little bit of like detailing around his neck. It's like a gold, um, like, th not thread. I don't even know what word that is. But yeah, he has some detailing around his neck right here. And then he has some cording uh, going across his chest. And then there's a piece of here going under his arm. And then he has a faux belt. It does not go all the way around. It's only on the front um, with the little 
plastic piece in the middle to look like a buckle. Super cute. Um, he is articulated. He only moves at the head. He just turns, you know, has that twist articulation, you no know, up and down. Um, he has the one joint at the elbow to bend his elbow. That's really as far as it goes. Um, and then he has the bend and snap knees, but the male dolls have like the thicker legs, so it's so hard to bend them. Um, he is wearing these navy blue, I almost said tan for some reason, but they're these navy blue, um, just regular pants. They're pretty decent material. Um, they're not bad. I feel like I felt worse. Um, yeah. And then he has these black boots, which are just pretty generic for the princes. Um, nothing crazy going on. They do have slits in the back so you can take them off easier. And you can see that the pants go all the way down to his ankle, pretty much. That was such a bad shot, but you know what? It's fine. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the prince. Not too much, but he is, honestly, he's like a looking prince. I'm not mad. Okay, so we're gonna slide him to the side and we're gonna bring back our bride, Miss Cinderella. So she has the same face that we've had for Cinderella for a while. Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't, I'm, I'm actually not sure if the current one that's out is like the, if it's like new or anything, but this one was obviously going around during 2019. Um, pretty simple. She has the silvery eyeshadow with a little bit of, um, kind of like a nude color on top of that. She has a pink lip and then her bangs are curled and gelled. And then she is wearing a veil. It's this long, just mesh material going down her back. And then behind it, you can see that she does have a, um, actually really decent bun. I love that. I think that was another thing I really liked about her. I just loved the bun. I thought it was really pretty. Oh, and her veil is defying gravity right now. Come on, Elphaba. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's hard to lay that down. Um, oh, why am I so zoomed in? I am so sorry, guys. Um, okay. So, and she's on the regular just Disney store classic body that we had for, you know, years. Not the newer one. It's the older one so a lot skinnier the same articulation at the head the shoulder elbow wrist bend and snap knee um and she does have healed heat but we'll get to that in a second but her dress she has an obviously all white dress because it's a wedding dress um with some blue down here it is tacked down i'm pretty sure you could snip that and lift it up and it's just this full ruffle layer which i love this is like really soft this is my first time actually really messing with it. So y'all are getting the same reaction that I'm getting on camera right now for like a first time reaction. So, um, slay queen. Um, <laughs> I am all over the place, but she has these mesh. Um, they're not glittery, but they almost have like a glitter effect. Like these sheer sleeves. I know it's not accurate to her, like her dress in the movie, but it's still really pretty. And she also is holding a bouquet down here. It's just this, these white and blue flowers. Um, she does have like the stem part in her hand. It's tied with a rubber band on there and it has a, um, green bow tied to that. Really pretty. Um, I'm trying not to smash this or smush it, but she has a little blue flower at her waist up here. Super pretty. And then just this whole top part of her dress just caked in glitter, which I am not a fan of. I wish Disney would stop caking glitter on everything because it doesn't make it better. It quite makes it annoying. <laughs> um, and then it goes all the way around, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then that layer underneath, I'm pretty sure also goes all the way around. It's just tacked down, so I can't really tell. I don't want her to fall over. I'd say it goes, all yeah, it goes all the way around. Slay. Yeah, so that is her. And then she is just wearing her classic, you know, clear glass heels that we know and love from Cinderella. And again, she does have the pointed feet. Thank God. And I'm pretty sure she just has like, um, I don't know if she has white or blue underwear. She has white underwear. Okay. Slay. Come on, matching underwear. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it for this set. Nothing too crazy. Again, these have been out before. These are just being re-released. Not sure why. They might have just had overstock from them. But yeah, that is going to be it for me, guys. Oh, <laughs> I can't talk. I'm so sorry. I don't feel like redoing this part of the video. Just bear with me. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for hopefully some more content sooner than like a month later. Um... But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.